Apple is claiming that Safari is the fastest browser on the market, but it's not loading very fast for you. What is the problem with it? In this video, I will give you 10 different tips what you can try to speed up the Safari browser. Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy, channel dedicated to helping you speed things up on your Mac, and this time, we will speed up the loading pages on Safari. If you find out that one of these things helped you, let me know about it in the comments that we can help others as well. And here is the first tip before we start digging into some settings and deleting different files. And that's the obvious one. Close your not used tabs. Safari should handle lots of tabs open, but if it's not working well, this is the first thing I would try to close as many of tabs as possible. And if you close something, there is always a way how to quickly get it back. For example, keep your favorites bar on. Here in view menu, click on show favorites bar and you will have quick access to your favorite bookmarks and you can easily reopen the tabs you have closed. Another alternative is to pin the most important pages in Safari so they will always be there so you can close the rest keeping just two free tabs and the ones you have pinned on. To pin a tab is really simple, just drag it all the way to the left until it shrinks and shows you only the favicon. Another thing I would do if Safari is not loading fast is to clear up the website data. This website data shouldn't be slowing down the overall Safari, but maybe some pages are misbehaving so it can help out with some issues. So let's go to Safari Preferences. From there go to Privacy and under Privacy look for the button Manage Website Data. Go there and after some time it will load all the website data your browser is currently using. You can simply click the remove all button. Well, this might log you out of some websites. It might clear out some preferences you have set for these websites, but in general, you won't notice too much of a difference. So go ahead and remove it all. Now the next thing you might want to clear out is your history. Again, it shouldn't be slowing Safari, but it's worth a try. So go to history and at the very bottom, you've got clear history. Then you can choose to clear out only the last hour, today, today and yesterday, or all history. So go ahead, clear the history and see if that helps. Now something far more likely to be causing troubles are extensions. Go to Safari Preferences and then click on Extensions tab. You will see a list of extensions you've got installed. If Safari is running slowly and you've got a lot of them here, it's high possibility that it might be actually your problem. I am not using any, which is probably the best. But if you do, simply check them to disable it. And if you really don't need them, then you can uninstall it. Try to be careful with extensions. Use only those you know. Use only those you know the source of them. And use only those you really need. And when you are testing them, it's good to disable it first. Check it out if it makes any difference. And if yes, then delete it. Now let's move on to the next thing and it's to limit the search results. When you do a search, for example, type Apple here, and you are going to get a lot of different things. For example, Google suggestions, bookmarks, some history, things like that. You can turn a lot of these things off to speed up the search field. So open up Safari Preferences again and go to Search tab. Here you can untick all of the options. So turn off Include Search Engine Suggestions. Turn off Preload Top Hit. Make sure include Safari suggestions is turned off as well. And you can even turn off show favorites, but it's quite handy to have your preferred tabs shown. And when all of this is turned off, it's going to give you a simpler result when you type Apple again. And it's going to be using a lot less resources to generate these results. And one more thing connected to loading is to open up a new tab or a new window. There might be things loading on background automatically, which you might not need at all. So go to General in Safari Preferences and here you can see new windows or tabs open with Start page, Home page, Empty page or Same page. If you select the Home page, it's going to load whatever you've set right here under your Home page. But if you are opening a new tab or a window, you most likely want to go somewhere else. So don't use Home page here. Same thing if you have it set to Same page. So the new page will first have to load the same page and then load the page you are actually looking for. So don't use this either. 
Using stat page is handy because it loads previews for your recently visited sites, give you access to your favorites and so on, but it's going to be loading a lot of things on the background. So if you want to speed up this loading process, use just empty page and set it for both of these. So now, when you open a new tab, it's just empty. It hasn't taken up any resources to load anything. Now you can type what you want and make your search straight away. Now the next thing what people are usually asking is to clear out the caches. Caches are here to actually speed up things, so don't expect by clearing caches that things will be loading faster. But if some websites are corrupted, misbehaving, it's worth a try to delete them. Let's have a look at it. Again you have to go to Safari Preferences, then go to Advanced tab and here check Show Develop menu in the menu bar. Now you've got a new menu up here. So open that and select empty caches. Then maybe restart Safari and see if the things are working a little faster. Next thing that might not seem true to you is actually connected to your storage. There is a good rule to keep up at least 10 or 20% of your storage available. If it's filled at a 90%, you will notice that not only Safari, but other things on your computer are running slow and it's because of that. So it might be a good time to do some cleaning. I have already made few videos about how to discover the big files, how to discover what is taking up a storage on your Mac and also how to clean up other storage on the Mac. So if you need to do some cleaning, check out these videos. As I said, try to make between 10 or 20% of your overall storage available. To check how much space you are using, go to Apple menu on top, click on about this Mac and then go to storage tab. It might take some time to load it. And well, I can see I should watch my videos as well and do some cleaning. Better to move on. There are some other things in Safari which are specific to websites. Let's see this as well. Again, if you go to Safari preferences and then go to websites, you will find few other different things here on the left. For example, autoplay. You might have various different settings here for autoplay, but if Safari is slow, you might want to set to never autoplay. So when you go to a page and that it has a video on the background, it's automatically stopped and to watch that video you will actually have to press the play button to begin. You can actually review all of these sites one by one. Maybe allow autoplay on YouTube, but you can turn it off on the other ones. Now another thing that might be slowing down the Safari has actually nothing to do with Safari. It might be connected to your network equipment, your cable or modem, whatever you have from your internet provider. When was the last time you tried restarting your router? Just unplug the cables, leave it for 1-2 minutes and then put it back. And how old is the device? Is it 1 year or 5 years? Then maybe it's outdated, maybe it's not giving you the performance you should have. In this case, call your provider, because they will not call you and offer you something, you need to request that and I'm sure they will help you out and it might actually speed up things a lot. If you think this might be a problem, do a speed test. Go to websites like fast.com or speedtest.net and try to test your internet. If you see it's underperforming, then you should definitely call your provider and do something about it. And one more extra extreme tip. If everything of this fails and you don't see any difference, you might want to reset the Safari completely and delete all of its data, even from the library folder. So first quit Safari. Now use the Go menu in the Finder to go to library. If you don't see it here in the list, hold down the option key. Now where Safari saves its preferences and other things depend on which version of macOS you are using. I am using Big Sur here. And there is an entire folder called Safari. So you can put that in trash. Then go into preferences and look for anything here that has the name Safari. The fastest way to find it is to type Safari here in the search and it will list the files here. So I can delete these two. And then next folder to look is containers. And under there, do the search again for Safari and get rid all of that. Once you delete it all, relaunch Safari and it should start like you have never started before, fresh new. So if Safari has been slow for you, I hope that one of these tips really helped you out and now it's going faster. Let me know in the comments what was actually causing the problems for you. Here is Luke and I will see you again.